I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2022 401 FLX Sierra Destination Trailer. Uh, this is a three-slide front living model. Sierra does make fifth wheels as well. Uh, for example, there's one right there. So a lot of similarities between these two products. Um, this is trying to be a larger destination trailer. It is taller. Uh, many of the appliances and features are uh, more like a luxury fifth wheel. You know, a lot of stuff on this you're going to see, again, in the, in the Sierra luxury fifth wheel line. So we're going to go over this. This is not meant to be an incredibly detailed uh, video on every function of everything on it. I just, rather, I just want to show you kind of the layout of it. So please excuse the traffic. Can't help it. It's, uh, it's harvest season around here, so guys are running lots of semis. So we're going to go in here first. You can see there's another entry door back here uh, to the rear bedroom. We're going to go in as you would enter it in a normal situation. So I've got a sliding glass door here that takes me into my kitchen and living room area. I'm gonna turn the air off real quick, just so y'all can hear me better. You know, take a second for it to kick off. But in the meantime, you know, this is the front living and kitchen area. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of lighting in here. There's a lot of accent lights in different areas, whether it be above the slide, TV at the floor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Sierra's done a good job making this look. Again, very luxurious, very residential. We have two slides up here. I've got one slide to the left that contains my kitchen area and then another slide here to the right that contains uh, seating. So we're gonna start here and look at this. Big slide here. Uh, these are hydraulic slides. There's a pump that controls all three of these. Again, kind of a, uh, a part of that, they're descending, I guess, from a, a fifth wheel. So it's got a big uh, triple slides that are all hauled together on the hydraulic pump. Um, more deluxe series that way. Flush floor slides, they're tall, they're three foot deep, or at least this one is. Uh, big windows in these slides. <clears throat> Again, the height in here is is what really makes this nice. I mean, I, I can easily stand in this slide. Uh, I'm about 5'10". So, you know, for, for normal size people, the average person, this this is very, very spacious. And for those of you who are taller, it at least is doable. All right, so I got table and chairs here, big window. Um, I've got theater seats there. We optioned that in. It's across from the, from the TV. It's a good line of sight. Again, accent lighting, um, nicer cabinetry. We have window treatments that are nicer. Everything's just a little more residential. At the front, big windows here so if you got a nice view at a lake or a property or whatever you can make use of that a trifold sofa there so if you got guests that want to stay um, you do have a bed there end tables on both sides outlets on both sides as well there's some lights above some more storage above as well beautiful cabinet doors and then here's our entertainment system tv sound bar and a stainless steel uh, fireplace below again accent lights above the tv this is looking back toward our kitchen, <clears throat> toward the rear of the unit. A beautiful kitchen. This is a stainless steel package. Most of these appliances are, I mean, legitimate home style appliances. Uh, that is a huge oven. It's a four burner on top. Uh, again, it definitely looks more, definitely looks more residential um, than than RV related. Big LG microwave there. Large kitchen island. These are solid surface countertops. Uh, throughout here our kitchen living room that's a split sink oh i'm sorry it's not i'm sorry this is the one big i just did another video of the split sink my mind's in the wrong place sorry about that i can't make mistakes a big single stainless steel sink and then a residential pull out style faucet up here lots of storage below yeah if i remember right yeah oh there, there's the trash can right there again a big uh, lg residential refrigerator it looks to be a 22 cubic foot, so most of these are. It might even be even larger. This is a massive refrigerator here, and then the big pull-out freezer below with the ice maker. So again, everything's just just home home feeling. A big wall of storage here. Um, different, you know. Obviously, these are just storage compartments, but I, I do want you to see your control panel here uh, for your monitor panel, your slide controls the awning, the lights, things of that nature. Most of the controls are right there. Uh, max air fan here in the uh, kitchen. It's right over there. I'm trying to move slow so I don't give you a whiplash if I move it too quick. And then you've got your ceiling fan here, the controls for that, and then more lights there. Like I said, in the hallway here, you know, you've got this big sliding glass door. It's got tint on it, as you can see. 
Um, if, if you have a condition situation where you're facing the south or the sun, you know, you can pull those blinds if you want, or if you just want the light coming in, you can do that. So whatever you want there. This is the hallway back to the back. Just more storage. Um, just trying to utilize space as best they can here. And then going down the hallway, we got our bathroom. I didn't turn the light on in here. All right. Um, again, the height in here is definitely more like a fifth wheel. So I've got a big shower, that marble look, seat, shelves built into it, a more residential style, you know, shower head holder there, lots of storage to the left of that, a skylight in here, um, porcelain toilet to the left, nice big sink with, you know, big cabinet doors below, good countertop space, and then a huge medicine cabinet up here. All right, so that's our bathroom. And then our bedroom at the back. So here's where our third slide is. King bed, a uh, big slide in here. It's got more accent lights too. So many lights, which is hard to remember all these. So you got accent lights uh, behind your headboard there or reading lights. You can turn them, obviously, they're on separate switches. Bunch of storage here at the back. I mean, all sorts of different, you know, more of a residential standard closet there and then huge drawers below. And then to the left of that is where if you wanted, you could put a washer dryer, like a stack, or make your own shelving and have more, just even more standard, you know, storage that way. So a ton of storage back here at the back. Two airs. There's a second air there. And another ceiling fan back here. This is another little nook of storage built into the wall. TV hookup back here. And then drawers. All right, there is another entry door right there, so you can come into your bedroom direct or come in the, the standard in, entry there in the in the hallway. We're going to go outside. It sounds like it's starting to rain, so uh, bear with me. If it, if it comes down too quick, we'll just cut it off. So we'll go outside real quick, take a look. Electric awning right here. Covers this area back here. Good size, good coverage. Good gel coat on our fiberglass. Outside speakers right there, outside TV hookup as well. Got storage below our bed right here. This is a nice feature right there. Uh, sewage termination point right there. You can see all your waste valves up underneath there come through the frame. Larger water heater, looks like a 10 gallon, either 10 or 12 gas electric. I can't remember which one, I have to look at the spec sheet. Outside shower, water hookups all co-located right there as well. And at the front, there's those big windows we were talking about. Really nice windows. So you've got a, you got a great view, you can make use of it. That's our 2022 401 FLX Sierra Destination Trailer. Three slide front living, residential appliances and two airs. It's Arrowhead Camper Sales. Thank you for watching.